What's up, guys? How you guys doing today on this fine hump day? Hey. <laughs> Anywho, welcome back, guys. It is me, Tiff. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you have showed my channel. Thanks for the subscribes. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. I truly, truly appreciate it, guys. We are going to be channeling the Divine Masculine today. Let's see what he's into. Um... This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box. I'm running a special because it's my birthday month, guys. Leo season is upon us. Hey, let's go. Okay, Divine Masculine, Spirit, Ancestors, guys. Whoa, it wanted to flip. What is it? Oh, no play. <laughs> There's definitely an envious energy, okay? So either this divine masculine, okay, is very, very jealous and controlling, okay? This masculine might be the type of person that, like, literally called... I'm, I'm definitely feeling like somebody here in the collective is um, dealing with a karmic masculine, okay? Um, I know normally these... And it's like, this could be another energy, a karmic energy that they're dealing with, that they're very jealous of, and that they're trying to end and heal from, okay? But what I'm seeing here is that there is an energy here. I feel like this is, this is somebody that is very, very jealous, very, very controlling. They literally like would call your phone and ask you where you're at constantly. Um this is one of those people that that it's like they victimize themselves in order to manipulate you. Like, well, if you're not going to come home or if you're going to stay out with your friends, well then I'm going to like try to take things that they've paid for or whatever. It's like a very manipulative energy that's very, very jealous, very controlling, wants to know what you're doing at all time, wants to know where you're going. And I feel like some you guys, you divine feminines or you you collective, you are trying to um to end this this with this person. It's like you and this karmic might have went through this cycle over and over again. And I'm seeing it's a very, very toxic cycle, okay? Because with the world and the envy card, it's like you guys keep doing the same thing. There could be physical abuse, mental abuse. I definitely am feeling mental and emotional abuse. And it's more like this person plays the victim to make you feel guilty for doing things when you're not even doing anything wrong, right? And so it's like, it's like that's how they try to control and manipulate you. And I feel like you are trying to put an end to, to this person. You are trying to let go of this person. But this person does not want to let go of you. This masculine, they, um, yeah, they're not trying to let go at all, okay? I feel like this masculine has a lot of childhood issues. You know, maybe their mother wasn't around, their father wasn't around. That doesn't cause issues. I grew up without a dad, but I... Like, it's like they were abused or like there was no love. They Their mom had to work all the time, 16 hours, you know, things like that. There's there's something traumatic from their childhood that caused them anger and emotional issues. Like they couldn't figure out how to express their own emotions. So it comes out as anger, controlling, manipulative. And this is something that they need to heal from, okay? Um, you might have had children with this person, okay? Baby daddies, baby mamas, they're always, um, you know, usually are karmics. And I, and if people don't come at me, it's the truth, you know? You're, you're, and there's people that end up with their children's father, children's mothers, their whole life, right? Um, some people just stick around. Why? Because there's children. Other people, I feel like, is soulmate energy, okay? The ones that are, like, happy. But, you know, I feel like mostly when you have children with somebody, that person's a karmic. I don't know why I feel that way, okay? But um, I feel like this could be somebody you have kids with. This is somebody that has held on to you from the past for quite some time, okay? Um, but this person, man, they just like to play the victim. They like to to make it make you feel guilty or make you feel like you're doing something wrong whenever you do anything and I feel like you really are trying to let go of this person look I can't make this shit up I just said this person has a lot of healing 
And I definitely feel like it's from childhood trauma, things that they witnessed growing up. Like they could have seen their parents fighting constantly, seen their mom getting abused, watched their parents do drugs, alcoholism, things like that. You know, grew up um with their parents dealing drugs, stuff like that. It's like they, they grew up in a place where they don't know how to express their emotions, okay? So it comes off as very, very toxic. This person needs to do a lot of balancing themselves out. It's like they need to look at themselves in the mirror and really start seeing where this where this anger, where this this hate is coming from because it seems like like as bad as they are, they're hateful as hell. Like it's like when the times are good, it's good, but this person can turn into a complete demon, you know, and it's like, where it's kind of scary, like, I, it scares you at times, you know, and it's like, this person needs to balance out that hot and cold, they need to take a look in the mirror, they need to see where this anger is coming from, uh, what happened in their childhood, express this, there's a lot that's going on with this person, right, and then we have the broken heart, but it's in reverse, are my cards in reverse? Yeah, they are. So let me turn it up right. Um, but if this is how some spirit wanted me to have it, I feel like this is you, okay, trying to move on from this person. I feel like you see the patterns. You see that, like, if you've taken this person back multiple times, it's like you're you're seeing that this person has and it's like you don't want to let go of this person you don't want to leave them you don't want to like because it's like they've been hurt in their past you know that everybody's left them or everybody and they might even throw that in your face like leave me like everybody else did and that's the victim mentality i'm saying you know to make you feel guilty but i feel like you're starting to realize that this person's psychological issues stem way deeper than just a relationship and that maybe it's time to move on from this person as much as it hurts as much as it breaks your heart i feel i feel like you're trying to with it falling under the world in these toxic cycles with these per, this person and move on hurt broken hearted as much as it's gonna hurt move forward right Let's see, what am I going to use? What am I going to use here? Let's get the Divine Masculine Spirit, Ancestors, and Guides. Can we get this Divine Masculine's energy at this time, Spirit? We have Gift. We have Courthouse. And we have Occupation. So I definitely feel, and then we have False Person at the bottom okay and so this is like i'm saying it's like this person has a jekyll and hyde personality and it's like definitely scary at times i feel like the mask is off when it comes to this person you really are starting to see that um it's like you can't change this person you can't help this person you know all this person is going to do is continue to bring you down and it's like somebody just because they've been through abuse in the past doesn't mean you can abuse the other the people you love you are not wrong wrong for wanting to walk away from that just because they were abused in the past and you're trying to hang on because you love them and you don't want to do them the same way you're killing yourself okay i definitely feel like um, you could have been married to this person, okay? There could have been, um, this was definitely a, a strong commitment, okay? I feel like, though, spirit is going to bless you financially if you walk away from this toxic situation because it's karmic. It's not meant to be. Even though you love this person, even though you want to be with them, even though it seems hard, even though you feel like you're meant to be, karmic relationships are the hardest to walk away from why and 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 i'm in a twin flame relationship so i'm one of them people that can literally tell you like i know the twin flame journey i know it's i know how hard it is but i was also with my karmic for 14 years i had three kids with him okay that is the hardest relationship to walk away from why because the karmic knows how to manipulate you manipulate your feelings manipulate you emotionally physically right um scare you into staying 
uh, take things, try to take things if you try to go, you know, leave you with nothing to try to control you. This is how karmics do. And that's why it's so hard to leave a karmic. I know people are like, no, it's twin flame journeys are fucking hard. You know, I wouldn't wish that on anybody because it's it's really, really hard. The twin flame journey emotionally and spiritually is hard. That karmic one, though, man, so I understand, okay? Um, you could have been married to this person or whatever. And because it's so hard to walk away from this person, I feel like as soon as you do, um, spirit is going to bless you with, like, job opportunities, money, um it's like the the abundance is going to start flowing for you as soon as you let go of this karmic, okay? Same thing happened with me. It's like, shit, I was with him for all that time. I let him go within a month. Even though I've known my twin flame, I didn't realize he was my twin flame at the time, right? When I started talking to him, we live in a small town. I've known him forever. Um... And within a month, I was with my twin flame. But because I had learned my karmic lessons, I was finally, I might have left that karmic, my baby dad, a hundred times. But that last time, I was literally done. It was like, no, there's no going back. There's no talking about it. There's nothing. It, we're we're going to go through these same patterns, same fights, same arguments, same shit. And I'm done with it. And it was like, as soon as I was truly, truly emotionally, physically done that's when spirit brought my twin flame to me. And I feel like, and then I was like, started being blessed with like a money, house, you know, whatever I needed. Everything that he tried to take from me, my karmic tried to take from me, spirit blessed me with. So if you're worried that this person's going to take everything you have, leave you with nothing, whatever you lose, spirit is going to give back to you. Okay? This is what they wanted to let you know. Let's go. Let's see. Separation. Look, I cannot make this shit up. And it is... So I feel like this is you trying to separate from this person. You trying to leave this toxic masculine in the past. This karmic masculine. Um, I feel like this person has brought you down quite a bit. It's like whenever you start doing good, this person has a way of bringing you down. When you're in a high vibration, they have a way of saying something that brings you down. You know, and it's like you're tired of that shit. I feel like spirit wants you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I think this is you opening your heart and realizing that it's time to move forward. Okay. And then that way you can receive the highest energy of that the spirit has to offer you. Let's see. Divine masculine spirit come through. Look, free yourself because why you deserve love. It is the time has come to take back control of your own life. Because you are lovable. You deserve true love. You don't deserve this toxic bullshit. You don't deserve this manipulation. You don't deserve this narcissism. You are lovable. And this person makes you feel at times that you aren't lovable. That you aren't worthy of love. And you are. You are. Spirit is telling you you are. And if you're planning on leaving this person. If you're wanting to free yourself. I feel the emotions. Okay. Sorry. But I feel the emotions. That's why I'm cracking up a little bit. It's time. It's time to go. Spirit come through. This was just sitting right here. I didn't see it pop. Look, release your ex. This one literally says the time has come to clear your energy. Okay? This person, you've been thinking about leaving them. You've been trying to move forward. It's time. They're fine. They're sexy. They're attractive, right? Mm, how am I? You know, they're, that charm is a false facade. Okay? Let's see. Let's get some messages from the universe regarding this person spirit, this divine masculine spirit. For the collective messages from the... Literally, I could not make this up. Seven of Wands. And y'all know I like the Rider weight deck. That's what I normally use. But I just really like these for messages from the universe because they got words on them. Um... You know, I'm old school. I like the traditional, but these I just think are good for messages. But it literally says, that way when I do a reading and like the seven of wands come up and, and I'm like, stand up for yourself. It's time to stick up for yourself after a reading like this. Y'all be like, yeah, right. Okay, I think I'm lying. 14.44 on the clock, right? <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
stand up for yourself and your beliefs. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you, spirit. Mm, blessed me. Stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. I can't make this shit up. Stand up for yourself. Challenge this person that thinks they have this power over you, but choose your battles wisely with this person. It's time to stand up for yourself and walk away, not go back and forth, not continue with that petty bullshit. Let's get one more. Oh, two more. I'm sorry, spirit. Two more messages from the universe for the collective regarding this person. Um... Plan carefully. We got the Knight of Pentacles, okay? You see him. He got his horse. He's making plans. Spirit wants you to plan carefully before taking action. But as soon as you get through with those plans, get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or someone who watches over you. So you have a guardian angel. You have somebody that has passed. I heard maternal, so it could be somebody on your maternal side, okay, that has passed away, and they watch over you. Um, and I heard little sister, so I don't, I don't know, but there is definitely somebody that's watching over you, and they're gonna guide you on this journey to leave this person. Spirit wants you to plan this out. You know, don't just, just take a leap of faith and be stuck in a situation where you have to go back to this toxic ass person. Okay, let's see. Let's get one more message from the universe. Oh shit! I guess I'll take it. The Queen of Pentacles. There you are. Okay. Generous, practical, gracious, materialistic. Not saying you're materialistic, but the Queen of Pentacles, she's on her shit. And if you're not on your shit now, this is a message from the universe. Like, as soon as you leave this toxic person, you might feel like you're not going to make it. <laughs> Look. The ability to make anything more beautiful. A love of family and home. Be practical about how you proceed. Okay, so make sure you're practical about how you move forward. I literally just said that. Don't just jump in. You know what I'm saying? Plan this shit out so that you can leave this person behind and move forward in life towards something truly happy, truly deserving. You know what I'm saying? I love that you deserve. Okay. Okay, guys, that's what I have for you. If that resonated, hit that like button, comment below. And let me know. Until next time, my loves. Peace.